Do you want to become a profitable trader? Hi, I am C. A. Rudramurthy, author, trader and trainer welcomes you to this morning report. First of all, if you see yesterday, the expiry, weekly expiry day, what was crucial was Nifty was ensured that yes, 18,200 below expiry will happen and all the call writers above 18,200 ate all the premium. However, if you see Bank Nifty, relatively it was more stronger and in spite of Nifty closing on the red yesterday, Bank Nifty closed positive. What are the levels to watch out today? What about SBI results and what will happen next? All these are crucial data which I'll be discussing today and do watch till the end. Also a very big gift is awaiting for you. Now, first of all, what about today's Nifty level? If I say today's Nifty level, please make note it is in futures. These levels are future level. For me, 18,150 is a very, very strong support. Even yesterday, Nifty futures low, if you watch out, it is 18,150. Also, if one side for intraday trader, this level is important. For positional traders, those who carry their position for more than one day, for you people, 18,100 has been a very, very crucial support on Nifty Future. So now we are closer to the lower end of the support. So it is buy on dip is what I will advocate even at current level till 18,100 holds on Nifty Future. So both positional traders as well as intraday trader. Now the expiry, weekly expiry is already done yesterday. Market will have more space and leg room to move on the upside. So on the upside for intraday trader today, see whether Nifty Future will start trading above 18,240. So do make note of all these levels and even you can rewind forward to get these levels very clear from this video. So for today based on market profile and order flow as per my chart 18,240 on Nifty future is very crucial. If we cross and trade decisively above 18,240 then yes 18,280 and 18,320 on Nifty future will be the levels to watch out. So once we cross 18,320 and close above 18,320 on Nifty Future, then yes, positional traders should be happy enough. You will see those levels of 18,400 and 450. Once you cross that, yes, move towards all time highs is very much possible. Now, if you look at Bank Nifty, very, very important. Bank Nifty, even in a weak market like yesterday, Bank Nifty closed a positive. Look at the whole week. Bank Nifty this week is just down 0.1% whereas Nifty this week is down close to 1%. That means Bank Nifty has hugely outperformed Nifty or Nifty has underperformed Bank Nifty. If you ask me why, that is because non-banking stocks have not performed this week whereas banking stocks, especially ICICI, HDFC Bank, Kotak Bank, these stocks have held up their move on the upside and most important on the discussion today will be SBI, yes, State Bank of India. Yesterday, the results of State Bank of India was stellar, excellent, marvelous, stunning, great result. But then stock price started coming down. Many of you will be wondering how come results are very good, but why stock is coming down? This is where a great learning called as positioning before the result is very important. You have to understand that everyone were already on the long side in SBI. Everyone had bought SBI. So whether it is HNI and big traders, whether it is retail traders, whether it is, is it operator, insiders, investor, trader, everyone were long in State Bank of India. So before result, SBI was trading somewhere close to 590 rupees. Stellar result came, but on top of it, SBI started coming down. In fact, it came down closer to 570 yesterday and closed more or less at the lows of the day. Even though results were very good, stock came down because before the result, the positioning was fully on the long side. Everyone had already bought it. In fact, 
to my very close hni group i made a whatsapp message in our group to our client saying that exit sbi if you have long position even though results were very good because positioning was already on the long side all of them were already on the long side of sbi who else will buy the share from there to take it further up everyone had already bought it and that made sbi to see some correction but however do remember if you are a long term investor holding sbi be very happy or if you are yet to buy sbi yes every dip in sbi for long term investor is a good buying opportunity because in spite of that stellar result all these speculators and short term traders once they are out of their position because of great result sbi has to move up because always remember stock prices are slaves of earnings yes warren buffett says in short term market can be a voting machine but however in the longer run market is always a weighing machine so one has to understand as a trader your technique and strategy has to be different as an investor it has to be different because time frame of a trader and an investor are two different things also look at yesterday intraday trader yes nifty gave an opportunity to sell because from top nifty corrected however if you are a positional trader from 16800 market having gone to 18400 after making that big move of 1600 points in less than 1 month nifty is just now consolidating even 18100 support will hold strong so for a positional trader the approach is different for an intraday trader the approach is different for a long term investor the approach is different so stock selection and the strategy depends upon what time frame are you looking for now after sbi results detail analysis yesterday also because of this debt ceiling worry is getting subsided us market went up last two days us market has gone up in a big way but we are not seeing our market performing it is just consolidating now after this expiry day over yesterday i feel today the move has to come but however all these long positions positionally what you take 18050 to 18100 is the strong support zone which has to hold i will change my view if we break this zone of 18050 to 18100 but till then it is held you have to buy the dip and this market is still on a clear uptrend now also most important data nikkei market japan market is trading at 20 months high that means just not us market just not europe market all global markets are on the upside also if you see yesterday another crucial data fii's are continuously buying for the last 17 trading sessions fii's have been buyers and this is a very positive news but however market has run up too much very fast from 16800 to 18400 on nifty now it is just consolidating and taking some time wise rest and price wise also some small profit booking now the uptrend which is there for the medium to longer time frame has to continue provided 18050 to 18100 on nifty future is held i'm sure so many updates for you on market with fundamental technical what to do today's levels on nifty bank nifty everything shared now bank nifty level if you ask me for me 44100 is the level what bank nifty future has to cross for a big up move and support for bank nifty is coming at that 43500 to 43600 level do watch out for these levels very very closely and big gift is coming to you this sunday i am having a a 3 hour free program for many of you who are here who wants to understand market more logically and if you want to become a profitable trader if you want to end your losing trader streak and you want to learn the professional way the pro way of trading then don't miss this 3 hour free online webinar which i am conducting if you want to register for that 
just click the description and the link is there for which you can right now go and register before the seats are over and i will see you all this sunday 11 o'clock morning on the online free 3r program stock trading for financial freedom to make you a profitable trader and if you like this just press the subscribe button to get more initial updates for all these things which happen and for live market update do follow me in twitter see you all this sunday for the live program stock trading for financial freedom till then take care bye bye